हेलो एवरीवन अमित ओरा फ्रॉम इको विजनियर कंटिन्यूंग विद माई मोस्ट एक्सपेक्टेड टॉपिक सीरीज टुडे आई हैव मनी एंड बैंकिंग फॉर यू आई होप यू लाइक माय वीडियो ऑन नेशनल इनकम सो मनी एंड बैंकिंग इज रिलेटिवली इजी यूनिट सो टुडे वी हैव सम वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन फॉर यू एंड स्टूडेंट्स यू हैव टू कवर दीज टॉपिक्स टू गेट फुल सिक्स मार्क्स इन दैट यूनिट सो इन बोर्ड्स वी आर एक्सपेक्टिंग क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम दीज थ्री टॉपिक्स लेट एस स्टार्ट coming to the topic number 1 its components of money supply first of all you have to go for the definition of money supply and then you have to move to components of money supply so components of money supply we have two components of money supply we have currency held with public and demand deposits so some students are confused with m1 measure of money supply and components of money supply m1 is a measure which has currency demand deposit and other deposits but the components of money supply are only two currency held with public and demand deposits so don't get confused second the most important one is process of credit creation commercial banks are the creators of credit so here you have to explain the whole process sometimes in boards it comes for even six marks four or six marks so we'll start with the concept and then you will explain the process and mind it you all have to make a table explaining the process so if you make the table it becomes very easy to understand and uh, easy marking then you get full marks in your question on credit creation we can also get a small numerical on credit creation they can ask q total deposits created or they can ask q the value of lrr or maybe sometimes they ask you calculate initial or primary deposits so this is sure shot coming to the third and the last important topic of this chapter functions of central bank so this is a part of banking functions of central bank we have to cover four functions of central bank any one function can come the most important one is the controller of money supply so the same topic you will be doing in theory of income and employment so what are the four functions of central bank they will not give you all the four functions together they will be asking you either one or two functions or they will ask you how the rbi controls the money supply using various repo rates and uh, open market operations so what the first function is the currency authority which you have to do it properly then bankers bank and supervisor government's bank many students confuse get confused with the bankers bank and uh, government's bank bankers bank means central bank is the bank for commercial banks so it is giving that service to commercial bank so commercial bank goes to central bank and opens its account and government's bank is different government's bank is your central and state government so government's accounts are also with central bank so bankers bank is a different point whereas government's bank is different and the most important the fourth function of central bank is the controller of money supply here you have to do two measures one is quantitative and the other one is qualitative so quantitative measures we have repo rate reverse repo rate and then uh, your uh, legal reserve requirements your slr and crr and open market operations coming to qualitative you have moral suasion or one more you can do is margin requirement so when it comes to understanding it's very easy when the rbi is controlling the situation of excess demand or inflation it will increase all the rates to discourage the money flow all the rates to discourage the credit flow in the market so repo rate will be increased crr will be increased margin requirements will be increased and opposite will happen when it's a deflationary gap or a situation of recession which is coming up so that way in deflation you reduce all the rates and when it comes to open market operations selling of government bonds take place during inflation and buying of bonds takes place uh, during deflation so that way you have to learn one more thing i have to mention here is that this year they have added functions of money so students you can go through that topic also functions of money you have to do medium of exchange unit of account standard of deferred payment and store of value so just go through that topic functions of money which has been added this year so there are chances very little chances that that may also come 
So coming to our uh, EcoVisioner app, if students you want to practice some online tests or you want to have some sample papers uh, downloaded, you can download our EcoVisioner app. For any other doubt or query, you can contact me on the given number. That is 9891203546. All the best for your exam. And if you feel that this video is beneficial, please share it with your friends. And also, don't forget to subscribe our EcoVisioner channel. Thank you. All the best.